Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I have so much to tell you, go over, I can't even get it into this intro part. So you're going to have to stay with me to see all of it. Okay, so let me go ahead and go over the list of everything I need to tell you guys today. Uh, number one, um, I'm going to give you an update and the results of our Pringles can competition. I'm going to go over an experiment. Somebody asked me, hey, Mr. Hino, on those Lego EV3 bricks, if you just let it sit around, if you just let it sit around, will it lose its charge? And I know my phone does, you know, because there's so much is going on while it's just sitting there. But does it lose charge if it's just sitting here, this EV3 brick? So I'm going to go over that too. Uh, third thing, I'm going to give you an update of what's going to happen um, with my videos after today. Um, I'm going to be just taking a little break and adjusting my schedule. And I'll let you know about that before uh, we sign out today. And I also want to just go over some things that I'm going to be working on just so that you know, hey, I didn't forget about it. Um, like the peanut or the shell game and the... Um, a robot that tried to get that pencil cut in half. So I'm going to go over all of these things. So stay with me to hear about all of them. Okay, so number one, let's go ahead and start with the Pringles can competition. Um, it, I know a lot of you are busy and that's why we probably didn't get a lot of involvement. Maybe some of you couldn't find that Pringles can or maybe some of you just thought not, not right now, not at this particular time. So um, basically, it was just me and Connor, Connor from South Africa. Hey, Connor, how you doing? So what I'm going to do today is um, show you the missions. You guys already saw my mission, and I've been so swamped and busy that that was the only mission that I did. So basically, Connor, you and I tied for first place. So it was just one of those things where I was like, hey, where is everybody? And, you know, who knows what happened? I know some of you are doing first Lego League. And so, you know, it was just one of those things where I threw it out there, seeing if I would get any, you know, responses back. Thank you, Connor, for being the only one who did. So let me go ahead and I'm going to show you again my mission, and then I'm going to show you Connor's. Roll it. Yes! That's 100 points. Let's see that in slow motion. Okay, Connor, so congratulations. You and I, first place, we're co-champs. It's nice to be co-champs, huh? So I'm going to be sending you, like I did before, that digital um, certificate, basically saying that you and I were first place co-champs. So great job, Connor. Everybody give it up for Connor. Very nice job. So now let's go to this experiment that I want to do. And it's something that I was like, man, that's a great question. I don't know. So what we're going to do is today, I'm going to be taking a look at four bricks. And what we're going to do is take a look at the charge that the battery has on all four bricks. And then I'm going to basically let this thing sit around for one week. And then after that week is up, I'm going to go back to this brick and see if it actually has the same charge or if it eventually did lose the charge. What do you guys think? Do you think that it's, you know, and it's not like the, your phone where it can tell you that it has 62% power. There's going to be on the um, Lego Mindstorm software, there's actually an indicator, but the indicator is just so big as far as I believe there's five blocks. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what exactly is the charge on this, but we're going to try. Okay. So let's go ahead and first take a look at how much charge are on all four of these bricks. Okay, so these are the four EV3 bricks that I'm gonna be working on today. 
And I know I've done a video before like this where I turned on like 30 bricks at the same time. Today I only got four, but it's kind of cool when they all turn on at the same time. So check this out. I'm going to try to be fast on this. Ready? And... So what I want to do is be able to see these all turn on at the same time. So while they're turning on, what I'm going to do today is hook all of them up to my computer here and be able to see how much charge they have on them. But let's listen to the sound of all four of these things turning on at the same time. Which one will turn on at the same time? I'm sure it's one of these two. Oh, yeah. That's so cool and satisfying. Okay, so I'm going to be hooking up each one, and I'll show you what the charge is. Okay, so I got brick number one here, and we're going to hook this bad boy up. And for those of you that did not know, maybe you're new to Mindstorms, and that's okay, is we can come down here to the lower right. Let me go ahead and zoom in on that. So if you didn't notice, when you come down here to the lower right, you can click on Available Bricks. And it's going to tell you which um, one is available. And to get this brick information, you just click on that. And so if you did not know, this right here tells you its charge. So right now, I think this brick belonged to a combination of Logan and Elijah. So that's why it's called Logan Eli. So this brick number one right here, whoa, I'm really zoomed in there. This brick right here is gonna have full power. All the bars um, are all the way over. So this one has five blocks of power, okay? So that's gonna be brick number one. And here is now gonna be brick number two. So let's hook this one up and see how much charge this one has. Okay. And then we'll go down here to brick information. And this one has... Okay, now you can see that this block is a little... You can see how it's just... There, let me see if I can zoom in and not even more. Do you see how it's not completely full? So this one has, I don't even know what that is, four, I'm sorry, five and a quarter of that maybe. So my bad, there's actually six blocks of charge on that. So number two had the five blocks plus a portion of that last one. Okay, this is going to now be the third brick. Sorry, that's it's all zoomed in on you guys, but... All right, let me zoom back out. Okay, this is gonna be brick number three. I'm actually surprised how much charge these bricks have. So this is brick number three, and that one has six blocks. Man, I'm doing pretty good on having these things charged. So brick number three has all six blocks. Okay, and then here is Hold this farther out. This is going to be my fourth brick. Let's see how much charge this one has. Okay, let me... Okay, I think I lost... Oh, there's the connection up here. Okay, so brick information on this fourth one. Oink Defeat. Nice name there. Okay, so this one has all six blocks. Man, I am impressed. Usually when I turn on a brick, it doesn't. I, I don't have this thing completely charged, so I'm, that's pretty crazy. Okay, so everyone had six blocks of charge except brick number two. It had just a little less than that complete um, box of power. So now what's going to happen is uh, today is Tuesday. So what I'm going to do is wait a week. I'm not even going to touch these bricks. I'm going to turn them off. In fact, let me turn all of these off right now just so that you guys can't claim that I lost all the charge because I had them on. So what I'm going to do is next Tuesday, I'm going to turn them all back on again and see whether they have the same exact charge. Okay. Oh, that one just lost. That one just turned off. That's why. 
So what we want to do is be able to answer the question, if we let the EV3 brick just sit around, will it eventually lose charge? Or will it have the same charge? So if you guys want to, down in the comments section, you can let me know what you think is going to happen next Tuesday when I turn these bad boys on. Are they going to have the same charge or are they going to be a little less? Okay, guys, so again, let me know what you think. Tell me if you think that these EV3 bricks, if you think they lose charge or do you think when I turn these on next Tuesday, it'll be exactly the same. I mean, I'd love to think that, you know, you could leave this around and it would just keep the charge, you know, forever, however long they're sitting, but we'll find out. So that's a great experiment, right? When I was asked that, I was like, uh, I, I don't know. I've never, you know, I've never kept track. It's not like, again, it's not like my phone where I can look at my phone and go, oh man, it's losing charge. It's losing charge. Um, so just one of those things where it's really neat to find out. So be ready, be ready to find out what happens on that. Okay, so let me go ahead and let you know about what's going to happen with uh, tomorrow, next week, and eventually after Thanksgiving break. Um, for those of you that don't live in the United States, we have Thanksgiving break. We have the whole week off. I apologize to you guys for those of you that might only have the Thursday and Friday. I apologize for those of you that don't get any kind of break. Um, but here's what's going to happen. I think I've told you guys this before. Because I'm not in school, um, you know, first Lego League and projects are not getting done. And it's been really hard for me to teach my class right now and to keep up with the videos and making projects and videos for you guys. So I'm just at that point right now where it's, just, it's getting really busy and it's just really hard for me to keep up. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, today is going to be the last video of the week. There will not be a Thursday video. I'm going to take next week off as far as just no videos. I will, you know, obviously my mind is always thinking about robotics. So I will be thinking and working on projects. But just next week there won't be any Hino Lego Robotics videos. And then when we come back from the Thanksgiving break, I'm just going to be going Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for the moment um it's just been one of those things where ever since you know the schools shut down if you guys remember that back all the way in march um, i was doing monday through thursday videos and then over the summer i was doing monday through thursday videos and it's just gotten to the point where it's kind of caught up to me like whoa it's really hard to be pumping out these videos um, all of those days and i know i hope i hope you guys um, can appreciate that. I really appreciate you guys that watch and subscribe and comment and things like that. But that's what I'm going to do for the moment, you know, is just um, do Monday through Wednesday and just to see if I can get caught up on things and definitely kind of just take some time to refresh and recharge. Because you, you ever know when you're doing something for a long time, you can just kind of get to that sluggish part. And I definitely don't want to be sluggish with you guys. I want to put out and promote the best videos that I can. And lately it's just been feeling like, ooh, you know, you're just grinding through the mud. So I definitely want to be on my game for you guys. So cutting back to three videos a week will definitely allow me to be able to explore different possibilities and different projects. And definitely I'm excited about getting that Lego Mindstorms Inventor Kit. That's what I'm hoping I get really soon. It's been ordered and I just, I keep, you know, um, contacting the district office going, is it here? Is it here? So it's, you know, one of those Christmas gift kind of things where you're just like, can I open it? Can I open it? Can I have it? So I definitely want to um, have the time to bring you those kind of videos for that inventor kit and to, you know, for those of you still doing EV3, definitely continue to do that because I know that Mindstorms inventor kit is um, pretty pricey and not everybody can afford it. And for those of you that do have EV3, I don't want to, you know, alienate you guys or have you guys feel left out. So definitely I'll continue to do EV3 because my heart is definitely with EV3. And, um, you know, do I see myself going the inventor route or the spike prime? Um, not anytime soon. But, you know, I want to check out that inventor kit. I definitely want to go, hmm. You know, are we moving in that direction? Um, we'll see, because I'll never know what it's like until I open it and find out. 
So for uh, my schedule, guys, that's what's going to be Monday through Wednesday when we come back after Thanksgiving break. Um, just going to give me a chance to recharge, refresh, and definitely pump out the best videos I can for you guys. And before I sign off today, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what some of my plans are. Um, definitely those the plans for the Inventor Kit, but I want to um, throw this one out to you guys because I'm going to continue to work on it. It was one of those things that was bugging me was the whole robot smashing the pencil in half. If you guys missed that, check this out. And what I want to do is be able to say to myself, I made a robot that could crack that pencil in half. So what I want you guys to do is join me on that journey, that mission. I want to see if I and you guys can create a robot that can crack that pencil in half. So what I want to do is make this a challenge. So anybody who has any type of EB3, NXT, Spike Prime, anybody who might have an inventor um, robot kit, see if we can create a robot that can break a pencil in half. And what I want to do is see how many of you can do it and send me a video of your robot doing that. So, you know, you got to be all on the up and up and on the honor code here. I mean, you can't be, you know, taking a pencil and like gluing it together and going, hey, look what I did. Um, you have you have to get a real pencil. I mean, if you're going to shoot this video, maybe show us the pencil and prove that it's not been broken and then come up with a robot that can break it in half all by itself. So. And what we're going to do is make, let's let's set the get guidelines on this robot has to snap it in half itself. It can't like ram into it. I mean, it just has to break it itself with some type of attachment or arm or something. So if you can do that, take a video of it, send it to me at Hino Lego Robotics at Gmail .com, And I'd love to see how many different ways if we can even do this, I don't even know if it's possible um, to break a pencil in half. And what I'd love to do is just have a pencil episode where I show however many videos I can get of people breaking that pencil in half. That would be cool. And then I'm also working on, if you guys saw the uh, Monday video of the shell game robot, I know it was not the greatest because, you know, usually the shell game has three shells. I, I know with two, it's just, it's easy to see. And it's just one of those things where I, I had to see it for myself. And I'm gonna modify it to at least have three or four cups to make it a little more challenging to see or, you know, see where that um, Lego three hole beam would be. In fact, I'll probably maybe even switch to a cotton ball because a cotton ball would be easier to move and it, you wouldn't hear it and I wouldn't have to like tape it to the inside. And then I also have to figure out a way to keep the, the cups down because usually when you're doing the shell game, your hands on top of it, preventing anything from sliding out from under it. So I'm going to have to work on that too. So there's a lot of plans I have um, for Lego Robotics. And it's just one of those things where I'm going to need the time to go over that. So definitely Thanksgiving break, I'll have that chance. Okay guys, so thank you for staying with me all of these days and weeks. And again, tomorrow there won't be a video. So for now, Thursday videos are out. It'll just be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I apologize. I'll try to get back on that schedule as quick as I can. But for now, just Monday through Wednesday. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep bringing you guys videos on those days that are top notch and worthy of you watching it. Okay guys? All right, I'm Mr. Hino from Sino Zygo Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care. Thank you.